Since February of this year, five consultant specialists, including the head of anesthesia and a specialist in general surgery, have left the Owen King EU Hospital. More recently, in September, the hospital saw the departure of a consultant internist and an obstetrics gynecology specialist. Additionally, the president of the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association, Dr. Mo Clark, who serves as a consultant nephrologist, resigned from a position. The DBS News World understands that in addition to these five key personnel, a number of junior doctors have also left. The news of the resignations emerged last week and has sparked concern among citizens. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, who spoke on Monday's pre-cabinet briefing, reacted to the latest developments in the healthcare sector. I heard so that some doctors is in. It's very, it's not a situation which, which, which I will, I'm happy about. But people always need to look for greener pastures. The news of the resignations comes about two months after the SLMDA president penned a scathing letter to the OKEU board warning of mass resignations if the deficiencies at the public hospital were not addressed. That letter prompted a flurry of personal attacks on Dr. Clark. Amidst the controversy came also news that the contract of Dr. Dexter James, the CEO of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex, would not be renewed. It has not been confirmed whether the resignations of the medical personnel are related to the state of affairs at the island's main health facility. However, sources indicate that the number of resignations is certainly unprecedented. However, sources indicate that the number of resignations is certainly unprecedented. The Prime Minister, however, sees the resignations as something not to be overly worried about. That's nothing new. <laughs> Doctors resign and they come in all the time. We, we appear, we pretend that these things are news. It never happened before in Tanusha's history. You know, as I said about, you must really read the Ministry of Truth. The, the rewriting of history. The developments have raised concerns about the future of healthcare services at the facility as the loss of these key professionals is likely to impact patient care and operations. Meanwhile, speculation is rife that former Health Minister Damien Greaves is tapped to be the next CEO of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. For the DBS News World, I am Zedra Romulus.